A decade ago, Saturday, September 21st, 2013, four gunmen from Somalia's Al-Shabaab militant group stormed the Westgate shopping mall in the heart of Nairobi for four days, killing 67 people, injuring more than 200 people and scarring the nation. On this grim anniversary, survivors of the attack not only recall the day, but they're still coping with the trauma. From mid-morning, Eline montet Cholet, alongside her colleagues, had an exhibition showcasing various products. However, at around midday, what seemed a bright day quickly turned gruesome. In seconds, um, everyone was running. It was very loud. I thought the building was coming down. After the third hour, it was clear that this wasn't just robbery, but clearly intended gunshots. They were on our table and they were talking about football. Um, and touching some of the items on the table, like I said, we were selling a bunch of things. And at some point we thought they were thieves. And then it became very clear because they're not stealing anything that was on top of the table. They're not thieves. So when they kept going round, um, there was a guy who tried to, I think he was trying to call someone. And one of the guys shouted in Swahili, Una piga simo, yoni simo. And then um, he kicked the phone and then he shot him. Hours later, she and her friends were rescued. And then I saw someone who I think I thank God for him because he saw us and he's the one who shouted to the other guys to stop shooting on our side because there were civilians under the table. The aftermath has been a long road as Eileen is still to date managing her post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD. I didn't realize that year like the impact it had on me until like two years later where I was suddenly being triggered by loud noises, bangs. Um, I remember one day I was crossing the road and there was fireworks and I sat down on the floor. And despite the mall being refurbished, Ellen says the fear of what ifs still linger. Westgate has changed quite a bit, but the place where I was hasn't changed because I was next to the lift. So I don't think they moved that around. So it's still very much there. Um, I still, till date, get that sense of, you know, like, yeah, like I have to push myself a bit extra. And it's not just Westgate. Um, unfortunately, PTSD doesn't know just Westgate. It's any other mall. From then on, her motto has been when. I try my level best to be kind, to be a decent human being. Uh, you never know anyone's story. As she expresses gratitude for having lived to see another day and make career progression, Eileen is calling on the government and various stakeholders to find ways of reducing the cost of therapy sessions, provide a safe space, hope and a stillness of not only survivors but for Kenyans in general. After four years of terror, the only public memorial that serves as a reminder to the incident is a plague with names built using private donations situated at the Amani Gardens in Karura Forest. Harriet Chimea, K24 TV, Nairobi County.